to another Whiteboard Friday with my utility genius. Now last week we told you we would go through some other things that you need to look at when you're picking your tariff. And what we thought we'd do for you this week is a little bit of a surprise and a bit of a change up is to start with a nice simple explanation, then all of you that that suffices for, or you can wander off and do something else, and we can then get into a more funky geek mode thereafter. So starting with a simple bit, what we're looking at is if you start with, let's say, the variable price. A variable price effectively means that the price that you see when you select the tariff could move up or down depending upon the suppliers moving their prices as a result of wholesale market regulation or those sorts of things. The fixed price, on the other hand, is absolutely set in stone for a period of time. But you can't leave that fixed price early. If you do, you are probably going to be subject to termination fees. So that's the consideration that you need to have between the two is termination fees and the fact that prices go up and down and you might be exposed one way or the other. So for those of you for whom that really works well, off you go, cup of coffee it is for you. For the rest of you that are keen on a bit of geek mode action, well, here we go. Well, never let me say we don't treat you all. Here we go, so in geek mode we are. Now, Trump and our faithful assistant has once again stuck up a quality geek insignia there for you. Now, trying to describe how hedging works, which is what this is, is in fact very difficult. Trying to get analogies that work is quite complicated. What we've decided on in the end is to basically say, right, let's pretend that this tank of water represents 1,500 pounds worth of energy that you use on an annualized basis. That tank of energy exists in a wider sea of variability that the supplier has where they are buying much more electricity and gas. Now, the interesting thing here is that to fill up your tank, suppliers have bought electricity and gas over a period of time, that tends to sink to the bottom, if we're using the analogy of water here. What then tends to happen is the oldest powering gas that was bought flows out as you move through time. It is then substituted with new powering gas that the supplier is consistently topping up at the top end. Now, what we then have is loads of different numbers here representing the different purchases that a supplier has done. Those purchases gradually flow out the plug hole constantly being filled up here. This is being filled up from the market, so that's a market price. This here, well you don't really know how much they paid for the bit at the bottom, how much is at the bottom and when it flows out. So there's a huge amount of mystery and intrigue around exactly what the numbers are here. But that's what a variable tariff is, is constantly being topped up through what is called a rolling hedge. What you there have is the ability to get in and out of that pool anytime you like. We move over to a fixed deal, but a fixed deal is very different. Loads of different types of water here at different prices. Over here, one load of water, a nice distilled bottle of water perhaps. All bought on the same day, you get your fixed price, that won't change. It's not being topped up at all. When you get to the end of your deal, the whole thing goes whoop, Everything disappears and your choice is either sitting in an empty tank, which in practical terms you can't, or get a new fixed deal, or perhaps leap back into the variable pot. Now, why would somebody not want to go down a variable route? The main reason for that, to be honest, is the fact that you don't know how much is going out here, you don't know what the price is of the stuff that's coming out here is. All you do know is, and everybody will always point to, what the market price is of the stuff coming in at the top. If we had an independent index or an independent benchmark in the energy price market, that you could say, well, my variable deal is indexed against X. You would always know how good, bad, or indifferent it was. But we don't have a Bank of England base rate equivalent in the energy market, so effectively, this whole thing is largely a function of a supplier coming up with a number. And that probably explains why they all magically seem to change their price within about two to three weeks of each other. A fixed price deal, you have certainty, at least in terms of your budget and how much you're gonna spend. But obviously, if the market price drops off, you're still left paying a higher price, so there are some considerations there. Hopefully that gives you a bit more of a feel as to how fixed and variable works. Um, next time, instead of looking at sort of a, a tank with Nemo in it, we'll be looking at something that more adequately reflects the choices you have in the green space. Till then, catch you later. Bye.